But for Enzo Moresca, mm -hmm. he should be very certain mm. to make sure that his tactics mm. involving Madweke, Mudinichi, mm. uh, 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 Nicholas Jackson, and Co. Those tactics will have to work. Oh. Raheem Sterling, we saw under Pep, played on the left, on the right, mm -hmm. number 10. Force number nine. Let me let me read. Raheem Sterling, let me, please. Let me read. Every tactics. The Chelsea fans are getting to me. Let me read. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel, turn on notification, and also like this video. Leave a comment down below. Let's jump into it and watch the analysis. Let me start this. This mm. is victory for Ghana. Oh, you mean victory? It is victory. You mean celebration thing? Look, this is playing time for Jordan. And oh, we are going Charlie. to see the best of Jordan. You mean, probably you mean celebration thing? This is, look, for, Tell me why. For Tell the, me why. For the, for the U family number one. Mm -hmm. It's good news because mm -hmm. they are the kind of a football family mm -hmm. that don't want to stay without kicking the ball. Mm. You mean the Ayus don't go into free agent? They don't, no, they don't, no, no, the no, season no, doesn't no, 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 kick no, no, on and then Jordan is like a free agent, no, no, doesn't have a club. No, the last show, the father team. will rise to the call and make sure the boy plays some team. Mm. Happy to the team. Capito oh, is coming, it's coming, it's coming. Let him know. It's coming, it's coming. It's coming, it's coming. Capito is a little older and Capito is a little more picky. So we need to relax for Capito. No, 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 I'll get more insight. Just quick thoughts. I, I don't want to spend too well, much time no, I, on this. I think, I think it's a good move. I remember a few weeks ago when yeah. we started discussing it, when yeah. it was a rumor. Yeah. It looks like Leicester have analyzed their situation and they realized that they need some more experience. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know whether it will... Of course, you can say that is it a straight fight between Jordan and Jamie Vardy? I don't think so. I was about so. to ask you if he's a bang but, starter but for them. I, I think he's a valuable weapon for them. He provides experience. He will... He and Jamie Vardy will guide these players, especially the youngsters in the squad. <laughs> On a Ghanaian level, it's great because there's Abdul Fatah and Isahaku. The two of them can grow a certain chemistry so that when they get to play for the Black Stars, that can work. My only issue is, how will Jordan be deployed? Mm. I think that is a very a critical part. As a striker? Let's hope so, because Steve Cooper probably would have watched Jordan in the last two years mm -hmm. at Palace at least and will argue that Jordan was used wide. Yeah. yeah. But, but if Cooper Leicester City, you have Mavididi there, you have uh, okay, so, Abdul Fatah, we say how could they there's no uh, that, 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 yeah, I get it. If you're a team and you're trying to play a 30 year old wing guy. 32 you, actually. 32 year old uh -huh. wing. I mean so, so I hope he gets to be deployed through the middle mm. and then he can share the load with Jamie Vardy. Jordan is uh, he has quality. Mm. He has experience. He understands the league. Let's see what he will look like when he's deployed more or if he's deployed more co more consistently as a striker. Let's see what he can give Leicester. Obviously, Steve Cooper thinks he has something to offer. That's why they paid 8 when, million pounds. When he scored him. his goals for Ghana, the last couple of goals he scored where he played as a nine, number nine. To the centre. He oh. says that in his own mind, he has always been a number nine. You but see, he's willing to contribute wherever. But you see, he play. now, he, you see, he's part of so, He's part of yeah, the yeah, cap. It's all cap because he knows that if they play him as a center it's forward, a his brother won't get into the team. <laughs> That's what that is the bottom line. Like, like, look, thing. that is the main reason why. I, mean, I never, but I've never bought into mean, that, you that, that, that suggestion, uh, that statement that he made. I've never bought into it. Look, yeah, let me tell you something. Me, it's a move. Like Nathan rightly said, some mm -hmm. few weeks ago, mm -hmm. we all sat here. Personally, I don't come in. Yeah. I think it's now up to Jordan. Mm -hmm. Look, at age thirty-two, mm -hmm. this is the last. This is the last. I'm saying contract he's going to get in the big or in the top league yeah. in Europe. Realistically, his yeah. movement should be within the box. When they are defending deep, mm -hmm. he drops back. But when they are on the attack, that drifting away unnecessarily to the right, to the left, all those nonsense will have to hold will have to stop for a long time. We'll have to stop. All that nonsense will have to lane stop. clogging, mm. uh, 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 minky and whatever they, they have to stop. <laughs> Backpedaling, they have to stop those things. <laughs> Go straight into the box. <laughs> Fatal Isayak will also the pass he gave to Jimmy Vardy. You're down, you're not more box. Semi six yard box. Semi, you're not more. Fatal will take a ball. Baba, take a ball. No, 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 Thank you. That is why Steve Cooper has bought him. Mm -hmm. There's no way that man will buy you and go and, say, go and play from the wings. They have people there. 
mm. who've got genuine blessed strength pace. No, look at the pace of Isaraku. Mm-hmm. Yeah, pace, big 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 to Isaraku, man. Yes, because he's developed immensely into that is months. it. Jirivadi at his age is still quick, he's still quick. The one thing that is for said, he, he's gotten to a stage where he'll be managed, yeah, yeah, they yeah. cannot throw him in there. And Kelechi is gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, is not there again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. is also injured. Exactly. No, Jordan. Won't no more. Jordan. No, yeah, man. You are four years. They can ya win Kembashi. What is it? You are then checking. You are four years. He said that he said that God should watch his face. Now, she didn't put it from top to bottom. Bottom to bottom. Bottom to top. From bottom to top, you won't see. If you go from bottom to top, you won't see properly. So from top to bottom. So that you see. And go straight into the goal. And the goal is called finish. I don't come in the mood. Oh, Jordan. Jordan. But I also think that. It, it was coming under mm-hmm. Oliver true, Glasner. You could true. tell Glasner had I moved know. on. Yeah. He had Eze, he had Olise. Mateta was hot. Ah. Really. And, and I'm happy that Jordan quickly saw the so, Of course. And then this weekend when they did the match, when they took off Mateta, they bought Edward. Yeah, yeah. Also no, Edward. Jordan, you are like a third, fourth choice. Yeah. And especially Olise. when they moved on from Olise, they replaced him with Ismail Asa. Uh-huh. So if had they not replaced uh, Molise with Ismail Asad, then, then it was clear that yeah, Jordan would be the next man up. Mm-hmm. But once they brought in a direct replacement for yeah. um, Olise's departure, then it was clear that you have no uh, place on the wings. Let, let's, talk, let's talk, guys, about Nathan. Let me start to you. Ilkay Gondohan back to Manchester City. I did not see this coming, and I this is I, I want to talk about this because this is actually a signing that causes me to change my title. <laughs> my, my, prediction. my title oh, prediction. Okay. It's, it's exactly. I think it is. That pivotal a move getting a kind of obesity and that you're the only 200 k off your cream. Simple, you mean he's gone? He's gone, man. So, Barcelona, I think, had. Um, one year on Ilkay Gundogan's deal left, no, yeah. Yeah. Maybe eventually, this year, next year. Yeah. mutually agreed to terminate so he could leave, um, because they could not give him assurances of playing time after signing Danny yeah. Olmo. And also, mm-hmm. finances, finances. True. Gundogan's finances, Get they were a problem to the club. They needed to free up the space. You mean they have to move money to, to do their yeah. cap thing? Because even, even after they've done this, mm-hmm. there are still yeah. some reports in Spain claiming that mm-hmm. Barca still don't have enough true. room to register Danny Olmo. I don't know how true, but those are some of the They are doing financial scratches. Yeah, they are doing... <laughs> 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 but you see... Uh, no. <laughs> Gundogan back yeah. to um, I, I, City. I, I, I'll, fa- I'll take it from a Barca perspective first. Mm. I think they have lost a very valuable player. Mm. In terms of somebody who could have guided a lot you of the youngsters in the team. Because experience. this team is very young. Yep. He could have provided a lot of guidance and direction. Mm-hmm. And he, he would have been the great link between Hansi Flick and the team on the pitch. He was easily one of their most valuable players yes. last season. You know, and, and he would have guided them through this very tough transition phase that Juan Laporta is not seeing. And I don't know why he doesn't want to understand that the team is in transition. Mm-hmm. Everybody rebuilt at a point. Mm-hmm. So, I think Barca's own actions and inactions in terms of not handling oh. all of that has uh, left... Charlie, or have people left. Are, let me just chip in this. There is this um, a very good friend that he runs like a restaurant. Yeah. And he's saying that from his experience and from the job mm-hmm. he does. Mm-hmm. Every day, mm-hmm. that is what he he does mm-hmm. for a living. He runs a whole restaurant. He just said I shouldn't mention the name of the restaurant, so I'm not going to do that. He said there is even no way mm-hmm. that feeding for 18 days for 500,000 athletes, 5, will, for, sorry, for 5,000 athletes mm-hmm. will get to three million dollars. It won't. And see, it won't. That's the <laughs> message he just said. He said he said there's no way. Isn't it? Isn't it? Coach, and I'm, and I'm, sure, and I'm, coach, sure, I'm listening to you. And I'm sure this is. And I did the calculation. To... Let me read it. Mm-hmm. Said, I'm listening to you, and I did the calculations. Mm-hmm. It is outrageous. Mm-hmm. Outrageous. I'm sure even if they serve some, it wouldn't even money. reach. Isn't it? <laughs> it it wouldn't even reach three million dollars. Ah. I say if they serve some pain and the worst is at Charlie. breakfast, cry won't get there. Ah, no, 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 like I say, so from the Barca perspective, their own actions and inactions in terms of managing their finances have led them to make a huge mistake. Hmm. But on Gundogan's side, I think he's a man of respect and honor because he realized the situation very quickly and decided that there was no point complicating things yep. because these guys are in a face. They don't I'm, have the I'm money. I'm a player in high demand yes. anyway. Clubs were queuing. Once Manchester City heard 
They are getting him for free. Pet was on the phone. They are getting him for Come free. Come back. When he landed, they had a dinner, one hour dinner or so. In fact, Pep didn't even want Gundogan to leave. He didn't even want to leave. Yeah, 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 he first didn't place. want him to leave. That so, was his first signing as Manchester yes. City boss. Mm. So I think Gundogan, City Gundogan. are getting back a player. So I've seen the jokes on Twitter. Somebody said Gundogan left to go and chill one year and come back. Yeah, he was he lost motivation. He chill let, look, one year. Let, let me stop. Tyrone Man, that's that's a add, for Man United. add something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, look, no. the fact is that mm. I think he's coming back to. I don't know how Pep is going to use him, but from the way Pep has always loved him as a player, mm-hmm. I think the workload will have to be shared between True. him and Kevin De Bruyne. And KDB, yeah. I am hoping that because <laughs> his exit gave Phil Folding it's true. the it's room a lot to more. play and take up a bit more responsibility. Yeah. And we saw what yeah, Folding has become since then. True. Now he's come back. Be is the young man going to be relegated? Because his boss is in very, a lot of a, a, a lot of yeah, dynamics, and, and for and me, people have to handle. It's a move I don't come in, but look, if there's any manager who is capable of handling the situation and making it work, it is, it is Pep. So I, I really want to see how he goes. And, and I, I would just say that I, I think Godohan is also, uh, you know, maybe gradually coming to the end of his career. We do know that he's been taking his badges, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. preparing for the next chapter of his life as as a coach and all of that. You know, how I feel. I feel like he's the kind of guy who could play two more years in the PL and go to Saudi Arabia and completely boss it because I mean he would I, I don't know whether he yeah, would be interested in, in play, such a move can play as a six can play as a ten can play as an eight I, I think <laughs> his coming back his coming back mm. will allow Pep some more room because mm-hmm. he'll throw him into different situations to fire fight to you know hold an end and just to ensure that the team keeps taking but Chris makes a brilliant point about yeah. Phil Ford what does it mean for Phil Ford personally I would yeah. want to believe that nothing changes folding still becomes the leading man your... and, and Gundogan comes in every in, night I, and I, again think, I think that's what that's what know, they to share the load because, all around I mean, they need to be careful because Gundogan was a big figure in that dressing room I mean, if he he was a captain of the team so exactly so it's, it's very dicey let's talk about a move that I find very interesting like all the talk about it is super interesting Raheem Sterling out in the cold <laughs> your, your man say he sent you something let me, Dennis, let me ring the bell. I'll, uh, so I'll, please, I'll, I'll get to it in a bit. But I saw, look, I saw uh, Enzo Mareska. Brutal, mini brutal. I the bar. the bar. You see, you don't treat people like this. People are trying to make it seem as if he's been brutal. He's been very disrespectful. Hmm. From Todd Bowley. To mm. Enzo Moresca. Mm. They've been very disrespectful to Raheem Sterling and Co. Mm. Mm. At what point mm. did they realize that they wouldn't need the services of Raheem Sterling? This was supposed to be his third season at Chelsea. Exactly. And I've listened to this same Enzo man say that Raheem Sterling Let is me, a very important player for this Chelsea hold team. Hold your thoughts. I'll, I'll come to you. Let me just make this announcement. Chelsea fans out there, generally, I want you to tweet at me. <laughs> At Kojo Ketia, at the fundamentals. Do you think they are supposed to use, use, no, use, use the hashtag sports panorama? I'm just, what? I'm just asking a question. Do you think Raheem Sterling has been unfairly treated by the club? Or, you think, or you think it's time genuinely for him to go? Qu- 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 question 1B. Mm. Question 1B. <laughs> the only reason why they are doing what they are doing. Question 1B. Question 1B. <laughs> <laughs> no, question, no question one. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Can they give us the exact number of players? Okay. <laughs> they are running a, a double track of 52. I've had 48. I've had 48. I've had 48. I've had 48. I've had 43. You are completely I've had 42. The question is 43. I've had 53. No, me Enzo has had 45. Sorry, sorry. I think whoever, whoever, whoever did that video recording of them, the person didn't try at all. The running shift is too many. Have you seen the video? Go track. Oh, guys, Solomon. Oh, I'm a Leonard Mechami. Go track. Oh, come in the morning, 7 to 8. Then they will leave. They'll leave. 15 minutes break before Green Track will come. Abramovich is Chelsea. Chelsea. Please land for me. The only reason why they are doing what they are doing is simple. He's the most highest paid player in the team. Yeah. And the contract they signed with him mm-hmm. did not include anything that said that if Chelsea were to fail to qualify to the Champions League, a certain percentage of his salary oh. is deducted. Mm-hmm. So even they're not playing Champions League football, he's taking his £350,000 a week. Yeah. You don't blame people and treat them and, and, let, me, and let, me, let me just make one more point these are points that typically don't come out to the public but when 
teams like Chelsea sign stars like Raheem Sterling. And don't forget, he was a star when he was coming. Of course! When you sign a star like Man City and you don't play him, especially in a season like this where they are not intending to play him, what happens is that you you are obliged to pay him a certain amount of money Oscar. for every game he sits on the Exactly. Bench. So that is actually another point. Exactly. And if you walk into this team, you sack Peter Cech, you sack, uh, what is the name of the woman? Maria Granoskaya. People who knows football, you sack them. Yep. And then you come and run football the way as if you are running fact, basketball. Fact, they have sacked all the all the learned people at all the old the people football people, people, the true football technical. Now the playing body has no leadership. Nothing. They've, they've let Thiago Silva go. Eh? Now Raheem Sterling, who is like the only veteran left eh? in the team, you are freezing him out. So his people as for as for Enzo Moresca, he's being used. Uh, it's as simple Moresca as that. says he's working with twenty one. Or 22 players. Mm -hmm. I am not working with 42 players. More ah, than but 50, today we played a clip on Premier League preview show on Channel One. So he admits, no, he admits uh, that uh, Chelsea as a team has 45, 45 players. Okay. But he, said, he is he said, working he, with 21. He said 22. That other people they don't they don't train with him. Yeah. So they are see, Oh yeah, yeah, he's a, yeah, he's he said they don't train. Uh, Chilwell, Chilwell, Chilwell and Sterling, Sterling, those guys, Chaloba, Chaloba, and wait, 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 so, <laughs> so, wait, wait, so, so, wait, so, I just, so what is their status? It's a project. They're it's they're a project. They're, yeah, they're, yeah, I just want. I, but I want to understand their this status project. is that they are on the mend to be sold. So they want to clear Outlast. all of those guys. Tell your, their status yes. is tell your agent to find you a team. Yes, that's so what it is. In life, and may you never end up in that. Then he was asked. What then happened in case some of them don't get sold? Mm -hmm. What then happened? Are you going to break them back? Then he said, When we get there, we'll cross, we'll cross, we'll cross that bridge. The fact of the matter is, Enzo Moresca, mm -hmm. where contact is you know, <laughs> where you go fit talk me say, Raheem Sterling, no go fit fit in your tactics. Mm. Raheem Sterling, who has played under the best coach of the modern era, Pep Guardiola. Pep Guardiola. <laughs> What, what is that? <laughs> Somebody has photoshopped the whole crowd into the Chelsea. Oh guys, you guys need to respect yourself. At this no, but that is the fact. Somebody, that is what is somebody, happening. Somebody said something at the road so that caught my eye. Somebody said that the way Chelsea are moving, right? And a lot of these players are unknown. You and I can literally pull on blue jerseys and walk onto the pitch. <laughs> and they won't recognize it. No, 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 you don't do be, oh, you don't man. do that and for me they think they are treating people well mm. like karaga and gary neville said for once i agree with them mm. the message is being sent to other players so other players will look at what is happening mm. at chelsea mm. and they will advise themselves yeah. but for enzo moresca mm -hmm. he should be very certain mm. make sure that his tactics mm. involving madweke Mudrichi, mm. uh, 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 Nicholas Jackson, and Co. Those tactics will have to work. Oh. Raheem Sterling, we saw under Pep, played on the left, on the right, mm -hmm. number 10, force number 9. Let me, let me read. Raheem Sterling let me, plays let me read. every tactic. The Chelsea fans are getting to me. Let me read the opinions of Chelsea fans mm. on Raheem Sterling. Interesting. So, uh, Prince Chelsea says, Ask coach if Ateta didn't clear all players and had his own dressing room. Uh, Oba, Lacazette, and Co are gone. No, but Ateta no, 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 came no, no, to meet them. Rich. Ben Tonboli bought Grimes Sterling 50 million pounds two seasons ago. Ricky Kwesi Achena says, Ben, Chelsea has not respected uh, Sterling. At all. Take it, take it Sterling's respectful. jersey while he's still in the team. It's, so it looks so insulting. Elvis Frimpong says, Sterling has been absolutely underwhelming. And I can tell you for a fact that almost every Chelsea fan is happy he's been taken team out of the team. Chelsea team and This one is from the whole Chelsea team has been a bomb, and you don't blame Ryan Sterling alone for that. This, you one, know, this one is from Kwame Delice. Says, Sterling has done his part for this team, and unfortunately, his outrageous wages aren't favoring him at all. But who did that? Unfair treatment, but it is what it is. Yeah. This one here again <laughs> coming through um from Prince again says, I don't think Sterling has been treated unfairly. First of all, Sterling's time at Chelsea can't be rated. More than three over ten. No, but whose time is supposed to be rated? Mareska tried him in preseason and realized he's not part of the team. See, you can't tell me that the wingers you have in this your team. They are better than Stelly. It's not true. What are you talking mm -hmm. about? Now and they are no, now and they are Which of them are established winners? Let me read messages. Hmm. Let me read and i and i'm sure he also wants to take villa to the next level he's guided them to the champions yep. i don't know how they will look 
when the Champions League kicks in, that will bring its own demands. So for now, they are still quite fresh. So it will be a very exciting game. I just, you know, just for the interesting subplot and everything mm. underneath, it, it is really a huge game. Mm. A huge no, game. No, it is. And Arsenal... And Arsenal fans are looking forward to this. Yeah, game. of course. That is they, why they need to be properly advised. <laughs> it's a huge Including game. Including Ateta himself. Eh? You don't think they Villa should have go and get overexcited? No, but if they go and do that, is it Villa have shown that if you, if Arsenal in particular, mm-hmm. because of the Unai factor, if they, they go into the game without respecting Villa, mm-hmm. they'll get beat and get beat good. Because this Villa team mimics the anger in Una Emery. He still believes that they should have given him enough time. Mm-hmm. True. The time they gave to Ateta, if they had given him that time, he believes he would have I'm sure he built covered, them he covers a better de- team. Every detail before an Arsenal. He didn't, he that leaves, is it. He leaves no T on board. So <laughs> what Arsenal themselves, I want Arsenal to win because I think that mm. they, they shouldn't do anything to get Man City to establish any form of lead on them. <laughs> yep. it's no, it's true. And tomorrow's game could be that kind of game. To be, so go in there. For once, they themselves have to be pragmatic. Yes, yep. that's I wanted to mean that. For once, Arsenal have to be pragmatic. They, they don't go and save Villa as any team that they know by the 90th mm-hmm. minute they will beat. Hmm. The last time they beat Villa, you remember it was 3 2 two seasons ago that Jorginho hit the bar, yeah, yeah, ricocheted yeah. off Martinez back into the net. Last season, they, got they took the double clear. Villa gave them the double, home and away. Pepa, Simple. Pepa, pepa. Tata, tita. <laughs> you understand? So oh, when man. this time around you are going there, mm. and Villa themselves, they had a good win against West Ham mm-hmm. last, yeah. last last week. Very, very they were game. very imposing. And yeah. Onana, I think Onana, in exchange for Douglas, Luis, Luis is a better midfielder than Onana. But the fiscality of Onana mm-hmm. will have to be too. So that is why Arsenal, like I said, will have to be pragmatic. Declan Rice, Pate. Pate is there. But Declan Rice tomorrow cannot be seen leaving Pate all by himself like we saw him do. Mm. He should time his movement. Mm. He should be waiting and find out when to join all the guy and co. Mm. And Pate will have to sit and do the job. Mm-hmm. I think if Arsenal go into that game, respecting Villa, they, being very yeah. pragmatic, taking the steam out of the game and passing, they don't need to go and beat them 3 0 one, one nil. One nil is one, one, one nil. Fine. Go back to the Emirates, the three points. Point. If they do that, I have no doubt whatsoever mm. they will win. Let me, let me do. Yeah, you, see, you, see, you, see, you see what the issue is? Like, bro, to Stegen, for example, everybody, every fan with like more than five brain cells. They know this guy is beyond his best years. He's dead wood. For, 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 for us, he's dead wood. But the club, they view him as one of the best in the world. That's why he's never in way. So dead wood is like a subjective uh, question because what's dead wood to one guy isn't dead wood to another guy. The issue is the board, bro. It's incompetent board, bro. They see, like Ferran Torres, bro. I don't, I, we view him as dead wood. I don't think the board sees him as dead wood, bro. Because they never tried to sell this guy, bro. So if they're never trying to sell a guy, I don't think they see him as dead wood. You know what I mean? So you're saying that there's a lot of players that are dead wood that they mm-hmm. so testing and you guys don't rate? Nah, he's, nah, they don't. He's, 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 he's one thing I don't get is why you, mm. why did you man just release him? You didn't even like sell him or anything. So when he sell gun? No, of, because like, if uh, releasing releasing players doesn't fix our wage bill. Like if we could just release players and just get it over with, we probably would have a long time. Ago. So when you, you sell him, when you sell him, when you sell him, you can sell gun Exactly. Yeah, we can we can sell him, but I don't know why that. Here's the thing: the club is not looking to sell Ter Stegen. They view Ter Stegen as no Gundogan. When you sell, when you oh. sell Gundogan, yeah, you oh, just released it. The reason why we don't sell, we're not trying to sell Gundogan, is because mm. it's as a favor to him, because he came to us for free. One, and then two, we're mm. actually just trying to make sure nothing falls through for the next transfer that he makes. So as long as the next team that he goes to takes on his wages, we don't really care about anything else. It's because That's it's probably the last few Hold days on. of the winter. How much wages is he on at Barca? He's probably on like 300k or something. No, 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 he's not. No, no, no. no, he's, no not. He's, he's, he's less than that. He's less than that. He's, he's on 150. He's on 150, bro. You, you, you know what's what crazy? You know, you know yeah. what's crazy about it, bro? He actually is on 300 plus k, bro. He's our. I told you. Third, he's on our third highest earner, bro. I told you. Hold on. So How why is City? Like, why is City offering 150? Because, bro, he because because he's desperate to leave, bro. Like because. 
this is the thing. Like he, he's falling out with a lot of players in our team, and also you see with Gunda one. The reason why we're letting him go for uh-huh. free is because we're desperate to let go of wages. Alhamdulillah, this is why. Like when when a club is desperate to sell, it's rare that they can get any good fees. You know what I mean? Hamza, Hamza. He's yeah, on Chris. Eight, he, he's on 18 million year a year gross euros. 18. Wow. Yeah, but Hamza, what's gonna happen to Kovacic now? Bro, it's rotational. This is nice. Yo, you know, I won't lie. I won't lie. I would take the Kovacic. Yeah, I want Kovacic back, man. Give us my. Give nah, us nah, nah. So you're not gonna get. We're not doing this shit. No way. Keep it in the Matter of fact, Stefan. Yo, disgrace. You know, you know, he's gonna come to us anyways. Yo, Gundogan. Not Gundogan. Um, what's the thing is, Gundogan for Rodgers swap deal. Easy, easy, easy. You are getting. Yeah, but Stefan, he came from. He came from Madrid Academy. He won't go to man. He I'm came sorry. from a good academy. Ooh, yeah, Chris, he, he Chris. didn't. He didn't. Mm. That's that's a lie, actually. But he did. Know, Stefan, I, we, we, yeah, Stefan, we're not looking for a midfielder. Kovacevic from Real Madrid yeah, we're not academy. Looking for, we're not looking for a CM that's or a joke. Yeah. Weak, bro. It's crazy. But, but I think I think you should have sold him. That's Amsa, what I'm looking at. Amsa, mm. they are going to ask for a favor from Cancelo on loan again. Yeah, yeah I heard that as well. So, 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 so is it favor, Cancelo? Favor for favor, right? But so, it's probably not going to happen. Hamza, Hamza was Cancelo in the match this week. You guys still want Cancelo? No, Hamza. yeah, we still do. They won as a you cover. Guys, you guys yes. want to add... It was, ca- was Cancelo on the bench against... Is yeah, Cancelo a good player for you guys? Yeah, he didn't know. They rate him, so Hamza. They rate him. Why is Pep I don't rate him. Pep is a liar. No, but we don't decide. True, true, Chris. But... He wasn't... No, let's be honest about it, Stefan. Like, he wasn't terrible. He just... He just let us down in the big moments, you know what I mean? Yeah. But he wasn't also, terrible. I mean, like he was, he was a reusable player. He, like he's, he's, he's the he's one who's supposed player. to have the experience, right? He's a good squad player, big but I wouldn't like him as a starting forward. But that, but that's the issue because if we get him, we know he's starting, even in the big games. Oh, that would be the problem. And nah, man, I can't, I can't have that. I'd rather. I'm being so serious. I'd rather us just try and go get another eight that can play in a double pivot versus us trying to go get a fullback. Like, I don't know why a fullback is a priority when we have Hector Fort, we have Valle, we have Gerard Martin, we have Balde, and we have Kunde. Kunde. Yeah, yeah. That's that, like, that. look, yeah. I just named five fullbacks, bro. Like, why does, do we does, does Hector Fort 